So we've got our offset and annual spends chart here. Now, this is really a, a using an offset account, how much we potentially have in savings when we might be doing some refinancing. And it kind of ties in together with some of the other stuff that we'll go through in a second as well. Um, but this really sort of highlights, you know, what's happening and when. So uh, I guess first off, you know, factoring in an offset account, this is how much we have in that offset account necessarily uh, other than sort of savings. So as this builds up over time, we've got a safety net buffer down the bottom here, this sort of yellow dotted line, and there's a little safety net tag down the bottom there. And that's essentially based off the information you provide, how much we need to have in this offset account at all points in time to make sure that we don't fall below that safety net. You know, that's going to keep us comfortable. That's going to account for the worst case scenario if someone's to change in incomes or change in circumstances or something like that. You know, that's going to keep us secure for sort of three to six months there to sort of identify what we want to do. Do we want to find a new job? Do we want to um, figure out what we want to do with the portfolio. Give us a bit of time up our sleeve to make a, a big financial decision. Uh, then uh, along the way here, we've got some 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 other critical things. So um, looking to purchase early to account for having children. So that's some of part of the fact finder. We try and identify things that might change our borrowing capacity in the near future. So why don't we get on top of that? Um, at point three here, which is in 2023, we've got a new car purchase. You know, these are really things that we want to factor in along the journey. Uh, investment property at 2024, investment property at 2025. And then from there, it looks like we've we've essentially um, built out our portfolio. So it kind of gives you a bit of an understanding of what our sort of offset account might look like along the process, making sure we don't drop below this safety net. Uh, and if you're kind of wondering, well, why, why are we purchasing so many properties along the way here? And uh, our savings is increasing rather than decreasing because we should be spending money here. You know, this is also factoring in a refinance at all points of these uh, investment properties. So we're looking at extracting equity based on our existing portfolio and being able to refinance that and how much we might have uh, in terms of the equity position in our portfolio plus our savings amount uh, and, and our overall expenses. But I guess we can get more into that in our strategy session.